Hello everybody, this is Karen Wilding, independent early years and primary maths consultant, here to share a few ideas about teaching, particularly in this case early years and key stage one mathematics. So how to join up your practice and make sure that what you're offering, whether you start in nursery, age three and four, or whether you start in reception, four and five, up to the end of key stage one, so that's six and seven in the UK, that the thinking flows through and is doing the best for, for you as the teacher in terms of developing your knowledge, but of course mainly for our children. Um, when our children get what they need, that is, is best for us as well, of course. Um, I've got a little prop here, I've got a few props. My prop is uh, a backpack. So I uh, started some training this week, uh, last Thursday, uh, just been reading through the evaluations, uh, which I'm delighted with the things that people have said, and I'm going to share some of the, the learning that we did in this video. But the, the premise really that over sort of uh, the overarching idea, which is why I'm holding this, was when we are working with children, we want them to put their math skills in a backpack, so a metaphorical backpack that they will carry through with them from early years, obviously from preschool, I say before they come to school, they are bringing a lot with them, of course, as well. We want the skills we give them to go into that backpack and be taken up the school with them. Um, we'll all remember, maybe we've said it ourselves, things like, you know, you're in year two now, we don't do it like that anymore. And the problem with that is that tells children to throw away valuable tools that they have uh, gathered and been using so far and that is you know the, the worst we can do all learning is constructed on prior understanding and on existing knowledge so with the backpack in mind I'm going to show you what uh, was in the backpack when we did the training the other day and to hopefully inspire you and give you some ideas so the first thing in my backpack hope you can read this uh, was the, the biggest game changer in my life, subitizing. Oh my goodness, I don't know how any child I ever taught learned anything with me because I didn't know about subitizing when I was teaching. Um, there's a lot written about it and I would definitely do some research, but the, the main thing I think is limiting um, is that subitizing is often overly associated with just patterns on a die, so dice patterns. And there's so much more to it than that. When we look at subitizing on training, it, it's about this ability to see how many without counting. And that is a pre-counting skill. So if you're working with very young children, it is an amazing way to get children to use something that they are really born with, the ability to judge quantities and see small amounts without counting. And in the training we were looking at, um, and this is, can you see, I don't know if you can notice here, these are some dandelions. So a lot of things to do with outside subitizing and being more creative with subitizing. This is subitizing uh, Mr. Kipling cakes. And uh, here's some subitizing with seven, showing that seven could be a five and a two or a, a three and a four. But there's so much more to share with you on subitizing, <coughs> excuse me, that is not about knowing about the total, but looking at the mounts within. So that leads me onto the second thing in my toolbox. Uh, which is again, I mean, these are all game changers, but the, the idea of part whole. So if you are going to understand how to calculate, so add, subtract, multiply or divide, if you're going to understand measures or fractions, and some of the maths that many of us consider to be difficult and hard to understand, the reason it's difficult is because we don't have this concept. Part whole is the ability to partition numbers. And with the age groups we're talking about here, that's partition whole numbers. So um, I've got some really nice outdoor equipment I use here. I don't know if you can see, this is five, and it's been partitioned into a one, a one, a one, and a two. And here it's been partitioned into a one, and a two, and a two. One of the things I'm addressing in training is very, very commonly in resources, published resources from online and bought in, we're only looking at part whole being a number split two ways. Um, it's very useful to be able to partition a number two ways, but it's also very limiting in your understanding. How are you ever going to understand division if you've only ever split a number two ways? So looking at that, there's some really lovely recording here. I come a bit closer, you might be able to see from a reception child. Um, and the reason I've included that is it's about making connections. So not teaching skills separately, but constantly using our, our backpack tools or toolboxes, as I often call them, 
Uh, on to my next uh, thing in my toolbox or my backpack as we're talking about here. Wonderful five and ten frames. Oh goodness, this again, I have literally found ways now of helping teachers to understand how to teach teen numbers in a way that really works and doesn't confuse children and they don't find it hard anymore. And that is a very bold statement because teen numbers continue to be very difficult mostly for most teachers to teach. And believe me, we can change that instantly. Um, can you see here, we've got some 10 frames using leaves, some brilliant projects here running. And I've been involved in these are uh, butternut squash seeds. So children experiencing really large quantities, but using that to help them develop 10 frames. Uh, the patterns, this is five using what I call the fives pattern, which helps use a five frame first. And here is five using what I call the twos pattern, which is what Numicon uses. So we look at Numicon in the training as well. At uh, near doubles and doubles, oh, so good. So masses to share. And finally, in my backpack, uh, I've referred to it all the way through, but the idea of taking maths outdoors. Um, I'm so passionate about this. I hope you've seen my videos on Facebook. I'm gonna put them on YouTube because I know a lot of people can't use the Facebook ones in school. So, but these, uh, you'll see these as me on my subvertising walks near where I live. So subvertising snowflakes, different arrangements of stones, and here we've got some lovely logs as well. Uh, lovely nursery pictures here where they're using 10 frames with leaves. And here's something I do a lot of, which is uh, working with games. So there's no point in learning about 10 frames and how to calculate using 10 frames if you then don't use them to solve problems that are meaningful to you as a child. So the great news is the training continues. I'm in uh, Coventry next week on Wednesday and we've got the same course coming up in Worcester and Newcastle, two in London. Um, may have forgotten somebody, I have to think, Nottingham, sorry Nottingham, forgot you. So all of the details are on my website and I have reduced the price of the training because I know you want to come but you know the people who are the purse holders are struggling and, and it's difficult to convince people to let you out of school. So I have you know significantly reduced the price. Uh, but go and have a look. Uh, this is 100% inspiration guaranteed. I've said to people, if you come uh, to learn with me and you don't learn and you don't feel inspired, ask for your money back and I'll give it to you. Hope to see you soon.